how to start an Upwork if you don't have a portfolio. Hey Tribe, this is Matt Laker here and in today's video I'm answering question from yesterday's comment and the comment is how can I start finding customers if I don't have a portfolio. This is really frustrating when you're starting out, you're not credible and you don't have anything to show to your customers. So I'll show you exactly what you need to do so that you can find and create this credibility for your customers. So here is how to make this work. So the first thing that you have to understand, and I'm gonna draw this for you. Let me just use this pen here so I can draw it for you. Let me put those glasses so I look smarter when I'm drawing. And let me draw the concept for you. So what you have to understand is that Upwork is a spiral. It's a vicious circle. It's either upwards going spiral or downwards going spiral. So here is how it works. So when you start and you get a job, you are going to be discovered more. So it's going to get you more jobs. Then if you're going to get more jobs, you're going to have higher rating, top rated seller status, and you are going to get upgraded, being shown to more people. So they will even invite you to jobs. And it's really going to work like an upwards going spiral. So people who have no portfolio whatsoever, and now this is really important for you to understand, they are in the vicious circle. They are, in fact, exactly right here. They are just doing loops in here and they can't get out. They are literally spinning around at the bottom of the circle. They can't get out. So really the way to get out of the vicious circle is to get the first project. So the way to do that, the way to get the first project, and now I'm not even talking about portfolio, I'm giving you more of a fuller picture here broader vision of what's going on you need to get the first project now you need to do everything in your power to get that first project now to do it if you can't find that first customer what you want to do is you want to ask one of your current co-workers or people who are working with you to hire you through Upwork. Just ask them to switch the payroll to Upwork for some time. Now this is in line terms of use of Upwork. You're actually allowed to do that. We're not going gray hat here. All you need to do is you ask them, hey, can we work directly through Upwork so we could do, you know, make the payroll through their platform instead of you paying me directly. So it's kind of more of a legal way of collaboration. But you still need some credibility there. You still need some portfolio. So the way to get that portfolio is in either of two ways. The first way is to start working with customers for free just to get the portfolio. You literally tell them that you're willing to do the project for free because you want to get a good review and you want to add something to your portfolio. Now, this is a lead magnet method that works on Upwork as well because when you're going to start working with your customers for free, then they are going to convert into paying customers in the future, at least some of them. This really differentiates you from all the other people in the crowd. They are like, wow, this dude wants to do it for free. Awesome. He really believes in the project. He wants to do it. Hey, this is Matt here. And I really want to do this project because I believe in the idea. I really like the idea of your company. Besides, I need some items for my portfolio. So if you're willing to work with me, I'm not going to charge you and all I need is a great review to develop my upward profile. They're going to be like, holy fuck, this dude is really hard working hustler. Let's work with him. You're going to get a portfolio item and you're going to get a potential customer that will convert into a paying customer in the future. In fact, most of the freelancers are not being fired as long as the job that they are doing is right. So if you are over delivering and always over deliver, those customers, they're going to stay with you forever. They have no reason to stop working with you. In fact, 
most of the freelancers I've worked with for years, I never have to fire them because I'm happy with them. And even if I have to pay them more, I don't care. I'm so happy with that relationship that it would cost me more time, effort, and energy to reestablish new relationship KPIs with other freelancers. So this really gives you the item for your portfolio. But if you're not such a altruist who really wants to help others just to get the portfolio item and who doesn't have enough compassion and abundance in one's life to really work a little bit for free just to prove yourself, then here is another method that you can use that is a little bit more tricky and it's a little bit of a hack, but you can still do that. You offer to other freelancers in the same niche, you can also find them by posting a job on Upwork to work with them by offering them that you're gonna deliver customers for the business. So you just say that, hey, I want to use some pieces of your portfolio because I'm starting with this. I want to learn, I want to really jump on board of this business model. And I already have a lot of customers who are contacting me, but I don't want to sell to them because I don't, exactly know how to make everything in this niche work and they are like wow you have free customers awesome yeah sure just show my portfolio and let's work together you can share the revenue 50 50 and really they do all the job you found a customer and you kind of kill two birds with one stone or you kind of eat two steaks on one plate or you eat two marshmallows at the same time. You get the point, what I'm trying to say. You not only find someone who does the project for you, but you also find that portfolio items. Usually they agree, usually they just let you using their portfolio. And after some time, you can either continue working with them or you can just simply say that, all right, now I'm gonna go on my own. I have my own portfolio. Just be upfront with them. Tell them exactly what you're trying to do. Don't trick them. Don't try to steal their portfolio or don't do anything weird because it's gonna come back to you so just say honestly what you're about what you are trying to do now the most important thing that you should do is you should ask me question in comments what else you're not sure about when it comes to your upwork what else you don't know how to do when it comes to your freelancing business or in terms of entrepreneurship Ask me the question below because as you can see, I'm answering questions from the comments every day. Ask me the question below because I'm going to answer and if those are good questions, I'm even going to make a video. And most importantly, subscribe to that channel because I'm going to be providing loads of transformational, intergalactically awesome value for you every single day. So if you want to jump on this wagon of free, awesome, amazing, super pineapple-ish and mango-ish awesome knowledge, then subscribe because it is going to change your life. Seriously, what I'm sharing with you on this YouTube channel is better than most of the paid courses out there. So why would you go to some other people, go with some shitty courses, just watch my videos and really what I'm sharing for free is already 20 times better than what they have in their courses. So now you have a choice. You can either subscribe or if you want to continue watching, you can watch another video that I made yesterday. And that video is about creating notifications whenever you get new job posted on Upwork. So always be the first one to apply and find out how to do this. You can click on this video. It's right here on the screen right now. Click on it and watch the video and find out how to always be the first one to apply.